Peterborough, the worst city to live in England. If you're one of my subscribers, you no doubt would have seen at least one of my videos about Peterborough. How I wish I had an opportunity to rank Peterborough among good cities. Unfortunately, the reverse has been the case. It's been found among the five most hated cities in the United Kingdom. It once ranked among the worst cities to live in England. Please try and see my videos on this to understand the background. Responses from my subscribers who know enough to really comment about Peterborough show that the city deserves more attention, and we vowed not to relent until things changed there. Therefore, we are now fully focusing on Peterborough as the worst city to live in England. Where is Peterborough? Peterborough is such a famous city that doesn't need to be described to anyone who knows a thing or two about cities in the UK. However, since there's no harm in reiteration, we'll take this route for the umpteenth time. Peterborough is a cathedral city and unitary authority area in Cambridgeshire. It was initially part of Northamptonshire before it was ceded to the present county in 1974. It is located on the Neen River, which flows some 30 miles or 49 kilometres to the northeast. Peterborough is about 76 miles or 122 kilometres from London. The city with the motto, Upon this rock I will build my church, is a far cry from what the leader that made the promise over 2,000 years ago had in mind. Today, people who know the city claim that Peterborough is the worst city to live in England. A view from the past. The city, whose original name was Mead Shamsteed before it was later changed to Burg and later to what it is now, together with its surrounding areas, has been inhabited for thousands of years. The city may have been established as early as 44 AD because the archaeological finds from the first century contain numerous references to Peterborough in its original name. Going by that original name, it was likely an Anglian settlement around 655 AD, when Sexwulf established a monastery on the parcel of land granted to him by Peter of Mercia. It was an important centre for ceramic production during Roman civilization. Throughout the Middle Ages, the city featured in the history of Britain. It played some roles during the Civil War. The modern history that can help us understand how Peterborough inherited what would turn it into the worst city in England began in the 1840s. That was when railway lines began operating locally. The Great Northern Railway Line from London to York was opened in 1850, and it transformed Peterborough from just a market town to an industrial centre. The rise and fall of various industries, including brickmaking, sugar and woodwork, contributed to the current plight of the city. Peterborough Today Today's Peterborough covers an area of 132.58 square miles, or 348.98 square kilometres. This is where you find over 200,000 people, most of whom are unhappy with their city. Interestingly, Peterborough is a multi-ethnic society. About 82.5% of the city's residents are white, 11.7% Asian, 2.3% black and 0.8% others, while 2.8% of the residents are mixed race. The population started growing rapidly with the arrival of railways in the 19th century. While the Second World War dealt some blow to this city's population, it was designated a new town in 1960. It thereafter stopped being a centre for brick manufacturer and industrial employment fell. Today, most of the jobs available in the city are in financial services and distribution. Peterborough is at the junction 5 of the A1-A1M primary route. What makes Peterborough the worst city? We agree that Peterborough is currently the worst city to live in England because almost everything that qualifies cities and towns as crap, dismal, miserable and worst in England or the UK is present here in different proportions. You surely would not love to live in such a city with a significant presence of factors making life more difficult than in other places. Let me remind you of some of them. Racism. I hope you still remember the ethnic composition of the city. As much as 82.5% of the residents are white. Well, European cities are predominantly white and it's not going to be strange if a large percentage are white. However, in England, where cities are continually becoming multiracial and multicultural, it tells a lot of a city to have that high percentage of whites. While many blacks and Hispanic people are thronging the UK, Peterborough is subtly perpetrating hate crime and racism. This is prevalent in the city. This, on its own, is enough to put a city on the list of worst towns in England. Thus, the challenge of this city along this line is not immigration of the other races, but integration. Cost of living While the employment rate in Peterborough is not among the lowest in the country, it's surely not among the highest. The earnings are also around the national average, albeit a bit lower. 
But the cost of living that is too high in this city is another factor immersing it deeper among the worst cities to live in England. The average cost of living, as given by government sources, is £1,000. This places Peterborough at the top 35% of the world's most expensive cities, ranking 3,264th out of 9,294 cities on a global list, 246th out of 277 on the UK list, and 211th out of 231 on the England list. Rent per month for a one-bedroom apartment in the city centre averages £396.67, while a three-bedroom apartment costs £925. Basic amenities such as electricity, heating, cooling, water and garbage for a modest apartment cost some £139.50 a month. If we add other costs, you'll find that this is the worst city to live in England. Crime rate Placing the overall crime rate in Peterborough side by side with the national average, you will discover that it's not a good place to live. In 2021, for instance, the rate was 89 crimes per 1,000 people. Of all the cities in Cambridgeshire, Peterborough is the most dangerous. It is found in the top 20 among the most dangerous overall out of 262 towns, villages and cities in the county. Its no-go areas after dark are more dangerous than average. City Centre The city centre of Peterborough doesn't justify the high cost of living. This, if anything, reduces the standard of living in the city. Yet there are shopping centres, but they're largely outdated despite their being light and airy. Besides, while walking on the streets of such an ancient city, you may hope to see aesthetics in architecture. But Peterborough is horrible architecturally. The only exception to this assertion is the city centre around the cathedral. Otherwise, the average shopping opportunities have been marred by the disproportionately large amounts of chabs in the city when compared to other places. Though you see trees running through the streets, they're distinctly lacking in greenery. You can mistakenly assume that you're visiting during the winter months as you see pretty grey sights. Culture What the city is enjoying in terms of amenities is being paid for in terms of culture. The city has zero culture. The only cinema in the city is a shadow of the past. I think it has not been refurbished because there is a lack of demand which is preventing independent cinemas from springing up. Yes, there is an active music scene, but the quality of music in the city is old-fashioned. The nightlife there is also awful. It mostly caters to all things terrible, offering basically the same mix of overpriced drinks. What the residents say There is hope for Peterborough, because the residents are not denying that there is, for now, the worst city to live in England. They only find themselves trapped in a place they described as draining, totally isolated from the rest of the world. Some of them complain that the city makes them feel stuck in a dump. In a poll of 80,000 respondents, this city tops the list of the worst places to live. Many of these respondents are current and former residents of the city. One of them says, I lived in Peterborough for 15 years and all I can say is, wow, what a dump. Now what about you? Please, we want to hear from you again what you think about Peterborough as the worst city to live in England. Kindly tell us in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.